Good afternoon. This is Nancy at your service, presenting to you the tangible and intangible best practices of the Medical Social Service Unit of Eversley Child Sanitarium and General Hospital for persons affected by HD or Hansen's disease. The Medical Social Service Unit provides comprehensive social work services responsive to the psychosocial needs of the patients and their families. It provides continuing case management to persons affected by leprosy or Hansen's disease. At the turn of the millennium and with the success of the multi-drug therapy, reduction of registered leprosy cases was noted and home treatment for new cases was encouraged. Early detection and treatment of the disease will prevent individuals from having physical disabilities. However, stigma, discrimination, ignorance, and negativity prevented many cured individuals to develop social economic opportunities. It is in this light that the NSSU of the hospital dared to go beyond its normal function, manpower, and resources. In 2000, the NSSU developed a series of activities like group work dynamics and workshops, summer youth camps, and advocacies with the end of goal of enabling persons affected to embrace change in their physical environment and in the policies of the sanitarium. Psychosocial processing were conducted, and like for instance, the confined patients were grouped into A and B. The A group was for those with ages 30 years old and below, while the B group was for those ages 31 years old to 60. Persons who were 61 years old and above were given options to choose their activities based on their capacities and capabilities. Undertakings included focus group discussions that eventually were divided into smaller group discussions, storytelling, dramatization, collage building and interpreting, game competitions, campfire singing and spirituality, and arts and crafts. Summer counts were usually held during the sanitarium's observance of its foundation month, which is May. Its focus was the younger people. During the counts, similar activities for psychosocial processing were provided along with team building activities. All, cam all summer camps were aided by volunteer foreign students and exchange visits in cooperation with colleges and universities. By 2003, as an end result of a joint second psychosocial processing and summer camp, there was created a support group which the participants humbly called the Eversley Association for Integration, Dignity, and Economic Advancement, or Eversley IDEA. They formulated a statement of declaration during the workshop. By 2005, the NSSU developed some proposals of an empowerment workshop, whereby Eversley IDEA together with other persons communed together and shared each other's experiences and stories and how they were able to conquer fear, discrimination and insecurities, how they were able to become economically productive and sufficient. And there was also this was also participated by representatives from all over the sanitaria nationwide. By January and February 2017, the NSSU called on Eversley IDEA, the Consultative and Empowerment Workshop. During the workshop, 
participants shared their experiences and struggles and how they were able to attain a transformation. They expressed their interest to be an effective and efficient partner to the government's efforts in ending stigma and fighting discrimination and acquiring a legal identity. By October of that same year, the People's Organization was renamed into the Philippine Association for Integration, Dignity and Economic Advancement Incorporated or IDEA Philippines from a support group the People's Organization. It acquired its legal identity with the Securities and Exchange Commission. By 2018, IDEA Philippines, in coordination with the collaboration of the MSSU, started a limited scholarship program and a feeding program for CY 2018 to 2021. Its outcome? There were beneficiaries who successfully completed for tertiary education. IDEA Philippines is currently engaged in a livelihood for custodial care and the making of doormats and rags. IDEA Philippines is a member organization of CLAP Incorporated or the Coalition of Leprosy Advocates of the Philippines and a member organization of IDEA International. On screen is the offtaking of IDEA new sets of officers. A series of meetings were conducted to prepare this organization, strengthen and empower themselves more. There was a planning workshop, project preparation, there was even financial management that were given by the MSSU. On the screen is Angel, the current uh, IDEA president, IDEA Philippine president, together with its counterpart in Korea, IDEA Korea, a CEO, and Griselda Fernandez, the outgoing president, with the IDEA Korea current president and myself, the IDEA International Country representative. The second picture shows you IDEA Philippines and IDEA Korea now as partners in project and program implementation, no longer as subjects. Bond says, formation has different phases and phases. One thing I am sure of is that dignity and respect is a choice. I choose to be the person full of dignity, despite the visible physical marks of SD. I choose to respect myself. In so doing, people respect me. Angel says, Determination and courage are the values that rose in me. Let no physical disability, therefore, hinder you from accomplishing in life. My glowing hands and foot drop were only a hindrance at the beginning. Once you start standing up and moving, there is no stopping. You just keep moving on. Van says, I wish I had the courage to accept that I had the disease 10 years ago. I wish I had the acceptance of the disease. I stigmatized myself, but I have to stand up and face life in this wheelchair. The recommendations from the medical social workers, the MSW will continue to support the program as part of the rehabilitation process. The MSW will continue to conduct health education and advocacy for communities as well as for their families. The MSW will continue to lobby or promote policies and procedure, rules and regulations that protect and preserve their interests 
and welfare of patients. MSW will continue to network or link our organization to other support groups to promote the products that we currently engage. Lastly, we will continue to conduct research to evaluate the outcomes of our programs and activities as a reference for our future endeavors. Thank you for listening and happy World Social Work Day to all.